guys just seem to kind of drift in and out mentally against these guys today. Is that fair to say? Yeah, um, I'd say a different uh, perspective that we looked at in the first half. They were missing a lot of shots and kind of came out in the second half and we're thinking the same thing. Uh, credit to them because they actually came out and they started hitting shots and they, they even beat us in the second half. One point, but uh, I give credit to them. But we got to change that. Can't let that happen again. Uh, yeah, like he was saying, uh, we had a good first half against them. Uh, we came out sluggish, slow against them in the second half, and they started scoring on us. Uh, we can't, we can't do that uh, on a consistent basis. Uh, it'll hurt us in the long run. Is that just a focus thing? Uh, yeah, it could be uh, going out there and playing the same way that we did in the first half and uh, uh, manning up and not worrying what the scoreboard say. You got a bunch of minutes today. How'd that feel? Uh, it felt pretty good. You know, uh, Coach trusted me with some minutes and I uh, came through for him. Starting to feel like normal? Or? Uh, definitely feeling like I'm getting back in the rhythm of things. Yes, sir. You mentioned to me the other day that you wanted to let, just let the game come to you. Do you feel it kind of happen tonight? I mean, three for three, four for four from the line. Yeah, that three was minutes. uh, that was one thing that I went into this game trying to think about. Uh, just stay calm and let it come to you. Uh, versus the last game when I was trying to rush things and a little panicky, but this game was a lot better. Well, <laughs> well, uh, the final sweep this week. Uh, you know, what do you what do you do during this week to kind of you know improve as a team and but also I'm sure take take some time off. Uh, we plan a game a uh, uh, a game a week away from today uh, Sunday and hopefully that give us enough time to take care of business in the class and and be able to get back on the court in enough time to prepare for the next team. You guys have a good feel for where this team is. I mean, you've been to a tournament that you had a lot of success in and. I think you've, you've experienced what a loss feels like, and now you get this break. I mean, it's not conference play. Do you, get, do you have a good feeling for where this team is? Uh, yeah, we got a good feel for the team. Uh, I actually think the loss helped us a lot. Uh, we learned a lot from that loss, and we took it in consideration. And, and I think uh, even when guys were not having good games on this team, uh, we have other guys to step up for them, and uh, I think we are in a good position right now. Coach mentioned after last game the fact that rebounding has been another thing you guys have been kind of going back to the drawing boards with, and obviously the last two games has helped. Uh, you know, what 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 are some of those things that you guys have been working on to kind of uh, improve things uh, rebounding wise? Just crashing. Uh, we break out of our huddle to begin practice. Uh, we go into this little drill, and coach just bounces the ball up, 50-50 ball, and you just got to go up and grab it. That's really what it is. Uh, you got to. Push guys out the way, do whatever you got to do, just get the ball. And that's what they've been harping on this week. Is the defense you guys are playing now, how much better is it than the last two years? Uh, it's a way lot better. Uh, it's a whole lot better. We got guys flying around out there, uh, helping each other uh, out. Uh, we got a whole bunch of guys with of the same size who can switch on different defenders uh, when they need help. and. It's just great uh, going out there and playing defense with these guys. Have you guys put the lob stilly thing on ice? We haven't seen much of that the last couple of games. Uh, defending it different? <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of looking for it, but we got something for them. Mm -hmm. we, lob still ain't going nowhere. Still we still got it. It's still in effect. Yeah. Everybody good? Thanks, guys. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Uh, overall, I was pleased uh, with how we played and got out of that game with a win. Uh, really was. Obviously, there was a few segments there you could really, I could sit around and complain about and be mad about and all that. But um, the way we played defense in the first half, um, it's uh, it was very, very good. Very good defense, very good rebounding. And when you go out there and you hold a team to 13 points and the percentage we held them to, I think our guys came out second half just thinking they were automatically going to miss. And that, you know, not that that's an excuse. And we don't, you know, um, they heard it from me in a few timeouts that, you know, we got to be playing, respond better than we were responding here in the second half. But I understand the mentality a little bit. Uh, came back and threw some zone at them, which in the long run may help us because we got to play some zone where I normally probably wouldn't have. Uh, zone got was very, very good. 
Um, we started executing with about eight minutes to go and really started moving the ball and uh, had a group out there that uh, with Kirby Gardner, uh, Michael Cobbins haven't been playing a whole lot that uh, were, were executing the offense. So it was good to get those guys some minutes. Uh, but for the most part, you know, uh, defense was good, rebound was good. I was happy with the game. Didn't make shots. Shots, if you had a few shots, it would have camouflaged a lot of some of that defense. We just couldn't get shots to go down. So it was like the, the double whammy in the second half. Couldn't score and couldn't get any stops. Um, and, you know, so, but, uh, but I'm, 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 I'm okay with it. Ready to move on. You know, glad we won and uh, head into finals week. Go to halftime, twenty-one point lead, and come out. Is that a little bit of just focus? It is. It is. As much as you don't, you don't like it. As much as I'd love to sit here and make excuse. You know, we can't do that. And no, we can't. We got to learn from it. I challenged them at halftime and did some things. It just, you know, um, again, like I said, it, it wouldn't have looked as bad if we'd made some few shots and we couldn't get the ball to go in either. Um, and we were. Uh, and it was more about them, I, you know, as Mr. Somebody's come here, it was more about give them credit for coming out second half more than we were just bad. We weren't good, but we were okay. But, yeah, I, I, I kind of chalk it up to that. But, you know, we got to, you know, we got to be a little more mature in that and, and uh, handle the handle a lead a little bit better than that. But, you know, still end up winning by 20. And, you know, we had a few guys that didn't have their best games. So You mentioned Cobbins minutes. Yeah. Is he coming around? Yeah, he is. Yeah. The, the, I think the uh, injury's coming around a little quicker than his rhythm is at this point. He's, I think he's, he's okay foot-wise. Hadn't heard much about the toe for a while, but and he's starting to get in a bunch better rhythm. I, I, I mentioned him to our team that how much I was proud of how he continues to get better, which just is, uh, gives us a major bonus when we got three guys. You know, we had three guys, our, four, our fours and fives, when LB probably plays 30 40 percent four as well, but between uh, Murphy, uh, Cobbins and Jerk, I think they scored 20, 19, 20 points and got ever how many 20, 20 something rebounds. Now that that's something we have, we need. We need that because um, we're going to start making shots. When we start making shots. We'll, we'll be, you know, we'll be, we'll be a pretty good team. Um, but um, you know, right now we just love it. You know, I, I like our defense. I like how we rebound the basketball. Yeah, a little bit. I wasn't hard on our guys after the game. You know, I, you know, it was more of a teaching moment for me and get their attention by just teaching them and talking to them after the game. And then uh, first, you know, second time out, I wasn't real happy. First time out, just, you know, you know, second time out, I wasn't real happy. But uh, after the game, it was more of a teaching moment. Yeah, you know, uh, again, we got some really young guys. We're a relatively very extremely young basketball team. So you got to gotta pick and choose when you really let in on them. And, um, and things like that, but um, you know, it uh, they responded with the zone. I was really happy with the zone. Is it an interesting combination of being as young as you are, but I mean, you're a top 25 team that probably has some pretty high hopes and expectations this year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it uh, you know, these guys, you know, these guys are a pretty loose group of guys. I mean, they really are. Um, I, I'll be I thought we would play, but I thought we'd come out second half. How I, I felt. Like what I said at halftime was going to, you know, I got their attention a little bit. I guess I didn't, uh, you know. Um, but, um, you know, again, I, I defense was bad, but I still I blame a lot of it on our offense. Uh, I really do. Our offense was just bad. Our, we have turned in the ball. First two possessions, we don't even get a shot. Um, you know, uh, we when we did get good shots, they weren't falling. That just kind of. You know, I've always said you gain confidence on your offensive end. That's where you gain confidence. You win with defense, but you gain confidence on the offensive end. And, you know, when the other team's scoring like that and you can start seeing the, the numbers, you know, getting closer and closer and you can't score. But I like that, you know, again, it never got real close. So that's, that's a positive. You know, could have gotten very close there. Had a, but our guys hung in there. Um, glad we got out of it. But, no, I wasn't overly upset after the game. I would, you know. You said shots are going to start falling, and you sound pretty confident about it. So it's yeah. not it's not anything that's nah. sitting there. Like, mm -mm. No, I, it's not I, at this point. No, I don't see it being. It's not a concern for me right now. It really, you know, um, you know, we we can go four for twenty. You know, we've the second time two games we've done that, but uh, in three games, uh, last three games, but. I don't. I really. I don't worry about that. I'm really, as long as we're playing defense and rebounding like we are, I don't, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, 
we, if we're not playing defense and rebounding, then it becomes a, a big deal. But I think we'll start making shots. I do. You wouldn't necessarily want Marcus to pick up for his No, 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 no. Kirby, is this a good game for him? Great. I mean, that's the best he's played. You know, normally when, when you lose Marcus as early as we lost him, that, you know, that's a really, uh, uh, you get worried about it a little bit, uh, especially because the game is getting a little bit closer. But Kirby, I thought, did a terrific job of running the team defensively. Uh, got in the flow of things um, and uh, did more than hold his own. Yeah, I was very happy with him. Maybe that's what he needed. He needed more than two or three minutes at a time because uh, he's been doing a great job in practice, really good job. Um, but uh, junior college kids always take them a while. It takes them. It's just it's different than a normal high school kid, really. It just takes them a while. And, you know, they need minutes. I mean, and, you know, our schedule, the way it's been, you know, with playing Akron, Tennessee, North Carolina State, Virginia Tech, South Florida, and these teams, you don't, I mean, you're just trying to win the game. Um, and uh, when you get a game like this where you get an opportunity to play somebody, it's great. It's great. Do you think you're taking too many threes? Nope, I don't. Somebody mentioned that to me yesterday. I forgot who it was. Maybe my wife. I don't know who it was. Somebody mentioned, man, y'all shoot a lot of threes or something. Do you, are you shooting too many? I can't remember who said it, but no, I don't know. I get. I thought we passed up some tonight. I really I thought we did. Um, I, I don't, I, you know, again, it's easy for me to sit here and say because we're playing pretty good defense, but I don't, I'm not overly worried about it. I, you know, in practice, we're making them and we have the ability to get hot. We really do. We got some, Markel can make threes and then shoot the ball well. Marcus can really shoot it. These guys really shot the ball well this summer and things like that. So I, I believe that we can get there. Phil Forte is going to make shots. It's going to, you know, uh, you know, we've had some games here that uh, we haven't made a bunch of them, but no, I, I don't think we've shot too many. I really don't. Uh, you know, if you're, if my philosophy, if you're open, shoot it. You know, so, you know. The defense. Is this as good a defense as your teams have played since you've been here? At this point, it is. Mm -hmm. hope we can continue to do it, but at this point, it's pretty good, yeah. What is it that makes this a good defensive team? I think we're long, we're athletic. Um, you know, um, I think we're hard to shoot over, especially with the starting five. Especially then you got Cobbins coming in, and you know obviously uh, Gardner and Forte are a little bit smaller, but they're physically strong enough to do it. But especially our first five or six guys are long, athletic, hard to shoot over, fairly quick. Um, we got uh, a center now that's really holding down the post, so we don't have to double down, and he's able to block a few shots and uh, get some rebounds around the rim. But I think it's just our length a little bit. Our length is really helping us. Uh, and these guys have, to this point, to this point, have uh, has done as well on scouting reports and game planning as uh, as I've had. But effort, it just seems like. Oh, effort, yeah. I haven't had to coach effort, which is yeah. good. I haven't had to coach effort or attitude, which is um, spent a lot of time doing that in, in the past. Now, and I've I've never had a problem with their effort um, or their attitude, for that matter, at this point. But you know, you just hope it continues. But yeah, when you don't have to spend time, when I can spend time telling them this way, how, how we need to do it and where we need to be and all that, and I don't have to spend all my time motivating them to play hard. That really helps. That really helps. That's a good point, really good point. You mentioned rebounding. Obviously, the, the new drills and practice will mm -hmm. be successful right now the last two, day, two games. Yeah, we'll keep doing them, I guess. Yeah, so we'll see. I was, I was surprised we out-rebounded these guys. The last game, I'll be honest, I wasn't that surprised. And software didn't go to the offensive glass a whole lot. They were more concerned about getting their defense back. That's, that's their thing. This team averages about 13 offensive rebounds a game. Um, they really, you, you talk about it, you know, I looked at the South Carolina game and Frank Martin is known for offensive rebounds. They held Frank Martin's team to four offensive rebounds uh, for the game. Now they didn't miss a lot of shots. Uh, but uh, this team has been rebounding the ball really well. Missouri State offensive rebounding has kind of been a str one of their strengths. 13 offensive rebounds a lot a game, right, right at 13. And for us to hold them to six as many shots as they missed, um, I was very happy with that, very happy. And I was finding 15 was good as well because they normally don't give that up as well. So we've made an emphasis on both sides of rebounding, both sides. I, I was tired of our offensive rebounding. You know, a lot of people don't, you know, some coaches make that a real emphasis. Some get, don't even mention a whole lot about offensive rebounding. We want, we've made that an emphasis. We want to, we got a number we want to get to as far as rebounding, 42, 40, 42. So how are we going to get there? You know, you better get some offensive rebounds. So. Um, we need to keep doing those drills, absolutely, absolutely. How do you utilize this this finals week? They've got class work or you know, finals, oh, but yeah. it's also you have a week. Yeah, I don't like this week. Um, 
you know, it's, it's a tough week mentally for the guys and for us as well. You know, there's so much going on, and the priority has to be there. I can, you know, as I just gave our guys the big final speech, you know, you can always, this week, you can turn a C to a B or a B to an A, or you can do the other way too now. But, you know, let's really go strong. I'm give them off the next two days uh, away from me um, and um, get back on Tuesday. But you got to figure out when to have pri I mean, because, you know, finals are different than the normal class. And uh, the we'll work Tuesday. I'm looking at maybe going Tuesday, Wednesday, taking off Thursday and go Friday, Saturday again because I just don't want to go four straight days before a game. That's a little much with guys, with us just playing seven, eight guys and guys playing hot minutes. So that's kind of my game plan right now. The hardest part is going to be Friday, Saturday. We don't have any place to or Saturday, Friday, Saturday. We don't have anywhere to practice. Uh, we can't get in either gym. So that becomes the problem. Um, you know, it's either go over to Colvin, which is not 94 feet, which I hate playing because that just wind wise and uh, just not very good and we could go over Stillwater High that's an option we've done that before uh, and we've even gone over to Langston to practice before during this time so we're, we're still trying to figure that out it's a tough week but yeah we'll, I'll get out and recruit a little bit um, and uh, hopefully you don't usually get a whole lot better during this week but hopefully we can sustain some of what we're doing get a few guys more guys healthy um, Markel's having some stuff done tomorrow, so uh, he's going to be out for four or five days, so it'll be good for him. So, yeah. What's that about? With, uh, it's wisdom, too, whatever they're called. So that's a pretty serious surgery. I mean, he can't even do anything. I wouldn't know. I thought, well, he'll be all right. And they said, no, he can't. He's <laughs> not like, even if he feels like it, he can't do anything. So he's going to be out. You know, I don't. They threw at me five to seven. I said, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. No, no. You know, this is one we can control. We haven't been able to control a lot of these. We can control this one a little bit. So uh, he'll be out for most of the week. I don't think I'm, I'm hoping to get him back for, for, for Friday and Saturday. You know, so we're going to be a little short. Come, come Sunday, hopefully, we can, we'll be ready to go, hopefully. So. Am I good? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.